To replace the clutch cable on your snowblower, use a 3 8 inch socket or nut driver to unthread the three mounting screws to release the belt cover. Use pliers to detach the idler arm spring and clip. Remove the belt from the idler pulley. Use a half inch wrench to secure the idler arm mounting bolt inside the auger housing and a half inch socket to unthread the nut to release the idler arm. Disconnect the clutch cable. Use an 11 32nd inch wrench or an adjustable wrench to secure the nut and a quarter inch socket to unthread the bolt securing the cable guide. With the guide detached, you can fully release the clutch cable. Lift the clutch cable sleeve, note which cable adjuster hole the cable is inserted into, then detach the old cable from the adjuster. Install the new clutch cable by feeding a Z-end through the slot in the bottom of the adjuster, then insert the Z-end into the appropriate hole. Feed the opposite end of the cable through the pulley housing. Position the cable in the cable guide and align the cap. Position the guide assembly on the back side of the pulley housing and secure it with the nut and bolt. Insert the Z-end of the clutch cable into the hole in the idler arm. Make sure the washer is in place on the bolt. Then position the assembly and slide on the bushing. Thread the nut onto the bolt to secure. Realign the belt on the idler pulley. Reposition the idler spring clip in the frame. Attach the spring to the clip and the idler arm. Replace the belt cover and secure it with the screws. Your snowblower should now be ready for use.